just trying to find a filter that's not weird. <laughs> hey, Abra, how are you? I had the light looking fine, and then when I hit go live, it switched it to a filter, and now I can, I don't know, we're just going to leave it at this. <laughs> hey, Erica, how are you? Hello. How is everyone doing? Let me see if I can dim this a little bit without it looking weird. Hey. <laughs> I know I hopped on late tonight. Rosalie didn't go to bed till after 10. So I was scrambling. So we need some nice, peaceful, calm, tranquil relaxation. I know, I'm like, everyone's probably waiting. <laughs> Doing some light stalking. <laughs> I am feeling better. My throat, I don't know if you can hear, it's still a little swollen, but it does feel better than yesterday. So hopefully I can get through tonight without coughing, although I'm a little more sniffly today. <sighs> hey, hello. I sound good? Okay, good. I didn't talk as much today as I had to yesterday, so I'm hoping that works in our favor. Thank you guys for tapping the screen already. You're awesome. I got my tea. I got some water. <laughs> so hopefully we can go for a little bit. Hi, Lily. How are you? I didn't pick up my medication, guys. I'm so bad. <laughs> my husband promised me he'd pick it up for me in the morning. No, we just started. I am feeling better. Thank you. It's still a little swollen. I said by the time I remember to get my medicine, this and whatever's in my throat is going to go away. I missed you all too. I hope everyone's doing well and having a great day. Hey, Sonia. I got my blue light to work. It took me like 15 minutes just to get the blue light up. <laughs> so if I don't have blue light, they're going to be upset. <laughs> hey, bro, that's so sweet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm going to use some of my new crystals tonight. I'm so excited. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Enkyo. I have two of my new ones. They were cleansed all night. They were charging all day. Show off the mug. It's my friend's mug. This side's a little more. It's kind of worn off because I use a lot of central perk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're just starting. <laughs> your crystal shopping my I listen I have a whole cart full again on Monk and Moon's website and I'm just like I'm hesitating to hit send <laughs> I keep thinking every time I hit send they're going to get more stuff in <laughs> I'm feeling much better today thank you I throat's it's still a little swollen but I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday you got a new crystal bracelet. Ooh. Hey, Caroline, how are you? Yes, I know. Thank you. Same to you. Yes, Monkey Moon is amazing. I think they're going to be my new go-to. Although they don't have everything I want, so I'll definitely still be using World Incense Store. Strawberry Quartz, that was one of the new ones I got. It's so pretty. Yes, Bronzite, awesome. A Porcupine Rehab, aww. Steve is doing okay today. We got her a new stick chew toy, which is like her favorite. They were out of stock for like two months. So I bought her a different stick in the same flavor and she did not want it. And my daughter gave her the stick today. It finally came in the mail and she could not drop that old one fast enough. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad her funeral went beautifully today, Caroline. 
Yes, amethyst with the eulogy. Perfect. I'm so glad. We saw crystals at TJ Maxx today, so I would assume they're not real. Um, I mean, I think some stores like that is kind of hit or miss. Yes, use that bronze eight. Selenite wand, awesome. I'm glad, Caroline. I'm glad it's full. So crystals for anxiety and panic attacks, I use amethyst for mine, um, lepidolite and lapis are also really good. Any of like the blue or purple, like very calming and soothing stones. Um, I was getting most of my crystals from World Incense Store on Etsy, but I don't know if anyone here follows Brie. Her, her at is tip of the moon. She is also a Reiki healer. She mentioned on one of her lives that she orders some crystals through Monk and Moon. So I ordered from them last week and they came in yesterday and they are, they are amazing too. I am feeling better. Thank you. A session for productivity. Yes. I don't think that might have been on the list, but if not, oh, sorry guys, I forgot to turn my notifications off. Let me do that quickly. Yeah, I need one for productivity. You guys, if you remember my sister's conversation about laundry, I still have laundry baskets in my room. I think my husband's going to kill me. <laughs> All right, productivity. Wrote it down. <laughs> yes, laundry to be put away. That will forever be my weakness. For anyone who was not on last night, last night the comments were like skipping. So if you ask a question and I don't answer, I don't know if it's doing it again, but it seems like it keeps getting, looks like it's getting stuck and then like five or six go by really quickly again. So don't remind me what I need to do with laundry. I know, mine's bad. I'm not a medium, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's working all day. Excited to chill. Absolutely. Yes, tonight's all about relaxation, calm, peace, tranquil. Are there a lot of crystal shops around Myrtle? Um, the only one I went to, someone actually on here had recommended to me, and it was in Surfside. So it's about 30 minutes from me. I know Michelle's meditation for laundry with folding it. I said I felt like personally attacked. <laughs> I was like, I'm watching this with like, I can, in my line of sight was like three or four laundry baskets. <laughs> this can, this tonight's session can definitely help with anxiety. Yes. Sarah's so idea. That's like 30 minutes for me. The crystal shop in barefoot landing. That's like that earth earthbound store there's also one in the Grand Strand Mall but to me I don't like to me that's not like I'm sure their crystals are authentic but they're like oh way overly priced in my opinion going on some Monkey Moon now I know every night I'm like I go check to see if they have something new Today's focus is calm and tranquility. Nice, peaceful, relaxing. Citrine is really good for luck. It's also good for like optimism and uplifting. So if you're like nervous about a job or looking for a job, you can use that to your benefit. Yeah, when Rosie is with me, we go into the Earthbound store and they have some really cool stuff, but... She got, where is it? I think she left it up here. Oh, maybe she finally took it. She had like a, oh no, here it is. She had this heart-shaped cat's eye and I think we paid like $20 for this. So I mean, it's cute, but 
I let her pick something out every now and then. In my opinion, the prices are good on Monk and Moon. They definitely have some very expensive pieces, but what I like about them is they tell you exactly where all the crystals come from. Ain't a crystal that makes you not feel over 40. <laughs> Any of the ones that are really good for like um, energy and uplifting. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like 1995 or 1999, something like that. So, you just spent three fifty on your crystals this week. Yeah, I think I spent like three hundred at Monk and Moon. I just started. It's called Botox. <laughs> I'll be thirty six in November, so I'm not too far behind you guys. <laughs> hey, Michael, how are you? <laughs> All right. Everyone do me a favor and tap that screen for like 15, 20 seconds. Get that little line across. Oh my God, the little dancing beaver. That's so cute. I haven't seen that one yet. Thank you. Reiki can help labor pains. Yes. It puts your body into a deep state of relaxation. Thank you, Shiloh. I'm good, thank you. How long have I been on? We just started like maybe 10 minutes ago. Hello, hello. Okay, tonight's healing session is for calm and peace and tranquility, relaxation. 40 plus Ricky Club in the house. <laughs> Blue light is for relaxation. Everyone likes it because it helps them calm. It's not as bright as and intrusive as the white ring light. So for tonight's session, if you would like to receive the healing, all you have to do is consent. You can type it in the comments. Think to yourself, say it out loud, whatever you're most comfortable with. If you do not wish to receive, that is fine. You're welcome to stay and hang out with us as long as you're being respectful. And we will start with our handy dandy selenite, Sally selenite. Make sure you grab water, tea, something to hydrate with. And then we got two of my new crystals for tonight. Hey Marcus, good morning, how are you? Thank you, we're already at 24,000 likes. Thank you, K-Mac. Oh no, TikTok froze again already. Last night it was bad, it kept freezing on people. So go pick up your candy bar, set an alarm on your phone. And if you feel tired and you can sleep, don't fight it. But please make sure you do not drop your phone on your face. It happens every live. Yes, go to sleep. Always makes her sleepy, but she doesn't want to miss it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. Thank you for tapping the screen. Thank you for sharing the live. Thank you for sending gifts. You guys are amazing tonight. Shout out to all my moderators who always keep this a very safe, positive, peaceful place for all of us. Thank you, Suzanne.
Hey Shay, thank you. <laughs> yes, the mod squad. 11-11. <laughs> Make a wish. Can you explain this a bit for us? Maybe some of the cross you before us are relaxing. Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. So yes, I am a Reiki healer. I've been doing Reiki healing for over 17 years, actually almost 18 years in November. Um, Reiki is a form of energy healing. I am trained in distance healing. Um, so energy is not bound by time or space. Um, most people assume that I'm sending Reiki through the phone or the computer, but that's more of a visual aid. Um, I can send it whether we are on the phone or not to you. As long as you consent, it is based off of free will. So if you wish to receive the energy healing, you will. And if you do not wish to receive, you will not. Upstate South Carolina, hello. Hey Stacy, we just started. So tonight's focus is on calm, tranquility, peace, rest, relaxation. <laughs> Go for the superpowers, yes. And Reiki is open practice. Anyone can learn Reiki if you would like to. You just have to be attuned by a Reiki master. Since we are all energy and made of energy, anyone can practice. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. I have one video I think I still have to post from last week on YouTube. So for those of you who are new, I post all of the TikTok lives to my YouTube channel, which is the same name as here, Nicole Reiki Healing. Um, but anyone who wishes to watch them again, or if you missed it, jumped in late, they're all up there afterwards. I'm not doing in-person sessions right now because of COVID. This has nothing to do with religion. It's all based off of energy, which we all have. I know people who practice Reiki who are Catholic, Christian, um, Buddhist, atheist, <laughs> Wiccan. <laughs> it's open to everybody. Yeah, I'm glad you made it. You're very welcome. Yes, just consent. Hey, Rodrigo, how are you? Um, so Reiki is not ever negative energy. It uses universal life force energy and is always positive intention behind it. However, I do use crystals like bronzite, which are returned to sender. So if someone sends me negative energy, it sends it back to them. Yes, 
Yes, it can help arthritis. So everyone's going to receive the energy differently depending on what you and yourself need. Um, for me personally, when I receive Reiki healing from others, I tend to get very warm and I kind of get like tingling sensations. Um, some people get cool. Some people it just puts them into like a very deep state of relaxation. Um, if you have any kind of blocks in your chakras, you might feel like a slight pain, pinching, pulling sensation. Um, some people, especially with like gut health issues, you might feel a little bit of nausea or like a headache. Um, and that's just a block that's trying to release. Hey, we just started. Uh, we started with the selenite maybe five minutes ago or so. Thank you, Lainey. Easiest, fastest way to cleanse and charge crystals. I have selenite, selenite plates, um, larger ones, um, that I set my crystals on when I get them, and then I leave them in the sun to charge them, and then I hold them and I release any previous intentions and set new intentions for them. Monk and Moon is not on Etsy, it's its own website. I know some people still aren't getting notifications that it stinks. I wish I could just like, I wish TikTok would give us a button so that like anyone who follows us when we go live, we could just press it and it just is like, hey, <laughs> come join. <laughs> Thank you, Parker. Hi, Desiree. Hey, Britt. You're welcome, Rodrigo. Thank you, Lexi. A bad signal, yes. A little raky hands in the sky. <laughs> we just started this selenite maybe five, ten minutes ago. Hey, Mama Bear, how are you? <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm gonna randomly cough. <laughs> you have Alexa remind you at this point, yes. <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you for subscribing. I'm feeling better and no, I did not pick up my medication today because I suck. <laughs> but I am feeling much better. Still a little swollen, so I keep getting like a random tickle in my throat, but it's not too bad. Thank you so much, you're so sweet. Your sister's having major anxiety attack right now. If she's watching, so relax your brow bone, unclench your jaw. Put your hand on your chest and your stomach. Take deep breaths. And try to exhale longer than you're inhaling for.
she's trying to calm down. Okay, good. I have an anxiety disorder, so I know exactly what you're going through. Pronouns are she, her. Yes. Hey, did you change? Did you update your name? Oh, you had to. I looked quickly and I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> I personally use amethyst for my anxiety, but um, lepidolite and lapis are also really good. Yeah, I remember it being crystal and sweat, and I just looked quickly and I was like, her picture looks so familiar, and I was like, wait a second, she must have had to change her name. How are you? <laughs> Thoughts on Labradorite? I have Labradorite. I love it. I use it for um, like a general healing and protection a lot. Well, I'm glad you're here. Reiki does not have any religious connections. It is open to anyone who wishes to practice it. I have um, friends and I know a lot of practitioners who come from all different religious backgrounds. Sorry guys, some of the things are going quickly. Thank you so much. What crystal to use to block out negative energy? Um, black obsidian, black tourmaline, tiger's eye are all really good for protection. If you want to do return to sender, I use bronzite a lot. Bronzite, B-R-O-N-Z-I-T-E. Lily's at sleeve, how cute. Black tourmaline, black obsidian, tiger's eye are three that I use for protection. And bronzite is the return to sender. So if someone sends you negative energy, it blocks it and sends it back to them. You're welcome. Okay, reminder to hydrate. Thank you, Ruth. I don't always know when they do it. I keep it on me so that if anyone does send anything like negative or ill will towards me, I just won't absorb it and it won't affect me. No black magic, all good, positive, uplifting, healing energy. Had to do protection ritual during the full moon, yes. Thank you, Ruth. 
Yeah, people think that Return to Sunder is black magic, but it's only giving you what you gave out to begin with. <laughs> so if you think that's black magic, you shouldn't be sending it to, to start. <laughs> you have the bronze in your car house and purse. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is Reiki. <laughs> Yes. Yes, from last week's uh, live band, that bronzite came out real quick. <laughs> How long is a session of Reiki usually? In person sessions are usually like, it's kind of similar to a massage where it's like a 30 or 60 minute thing. I do 30 and 60 minutes with my email sessions too. Um, my lives tend to range anywhere from one to three hours, just because we're always chatting in between two. I'm glad she's calming down. You made moon water during the full moon, but not sure what it's for. I'm new. It's for anything you want. You can drink it. You can bathe in it. You can water your plants with it. You can wash crystals that are okay to wash in water with it. Session's not over yet. No, we're just starting. We just did the selenite. Good for self-doubt, citrine, sunstone, any of the very bright yellow orange are very good for optimism and confidence uplifting. They encourage happiness. Satellite is good for throat chakra, third eye chakra, speaking your truth, intuition. This can help alleviate a headache. Yes, drink a sip every day. Citrine might be difficult to fall asleep if you carry a citrine. It could make it more difficult because it's a very like um, uplifting crystal. If you want to sleep better, you should use something like amethyst. Um, selenite is good, like we just did with the cleansing. Uh, lepidolite, rose quartz, lapis, those are all very um, low vibration soothing crystals. When I do in-person sessions, there's usually little to no talking. Um, I will ask beforehand if they're, if they want me to kind of like mention things as I go, if I notice anything, but for the most part, it's very similar to like when you receive a massage, but instead of massaging, it's just very like gentle hand placements. You can do moon water with any moon. You just have to bring it back in before the sun comes up. Um, but full moons tend to be more empowering. How did I learn so much about crystals? I literally research everything. I will Google everything. I will follow people on here who specialize in crystals. Um, lots of reading. I got some crystal books, encyclopedias, things like that. I'm still, I've only been really digging deep into this for maybe a year now. Sorry guys, my TMJ started popping. Okay, one more hydration. <laughs> Hey, Corinne, are you feeling a little better? You have TMJ too, Kevin. Mine was horrible earlier this week. Mine's really usually really bad on the right side, and earlier this week it was so bad, like even the left side was hurting. I was like, ugh. <laughs> you too, Becca. <laughs> we always have the same thing going on. Heat doesn't always work for me. Ice tends to work better. I usually sleep with like an ice pack on my cheek when it's bad. I got one of those like um, sports massage guns or whatever, and I kind of like use it to like pop my jaw back in. Have the surgery. You can tell a huge difference after surgery. 
I want to, but I heard some people say that like it stopped like the popping, but it didn't alleviate the pain. So I'm not sure. I've had it for like, oh gosh, almost five years now. It's horrible. You're feeling scared like you won't get a breath. I'm calming down a little. So when you're taking deep breaths, take a deep breath in and breathe out longer if you can and it's comfortable. When you breathe out longer, you're training your body to start to relax. Know that you're in a safe place. We're all here for you. It's okay. How did you know which of your research was legitimate? Trial and error mostly. And I wouldn't just rely on like one source for information. Like if I was looking up a certain crystal, I would look at like 10 sites or, you know, through a couple of books and ask people or follow people and try and get a consensus of like what the general answer was. What happened to my jaw? Um, when my dad was really sick and he was close to passing, I was so stressed that I would clench really bad at night and it just unaligned everything. You get it in your head, it makes you dizzy. Yeah, I get really bad tension headaches up here from it too because it's pulling that, that muscle. Okay. Oh, I can pop my... I don't know if you can hear it. It pops all the time. <laughs> You're welcome, Corinne. I'm happy to help. Botox helps with TMG. I didn't know that. You had your teeth filed down, yeah. Okay, I have two of my new palm stones for tonight. And I'm letting you know right now, I am probably not saying them right. <laughs> so I will spell them for you. Um, the first one is Trolleite, I believe. T-R-O-L-L-E-I-T-E. -L -L -E -E. Trolleite. Oh, this one feels nice and cool on my face. <laughs> Um, trolleite, so from what I have researched, it is a combination of quartz, lazulite, scorzolite, and lepidolite. So it's a mix of four, and it's hard to tell with the blue light, but it is a really pretty, like, blue and cream color. Um, so this, this helps facilitate meditation and tranquil and serenity, helps you to let go of distractions and old bad habits, allows calm and clarity to flow through our consciousness and spirituality, alleviates stress and encourages sleep, helps us to remember our dreams. Oops, sorry. I had to look down to read and I feel like 30 questions just scrolled on by. Yes, not a medium, sorry. Is buying crystals off Amazon okay? I know some people have and they've had success with it and others have received fakes. So I would just do some research or read reviews to see what other people have said about them first. Okay, so again, Trolleite. It's supposed to be good for like meditation, relaxation, tranquil, all things we want tonight. <laughs> I am feeling better. Thank you. I do have amethyst geodes, yes. Hello, welcome. Thank you for sharing the live. Thank you for tapping the screen. Thank you, Carrie Ann. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Good evening. Thank you, Janet. Found my YouTube and love it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I wasn't sick. I have, um, my tonsils tend to swell 
randomly many times a year. Um, and when they do, it's just very painful, but I didn't feel sick. Life keeps freezing again, oh no. It happened last night a bunch too to people. My connection says it's good, so if I start freezing, let me know, please. This is Trolleyite. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Wearing crystals as jewelry can be helpful, yes. If you have a, if you have the same crystal or if you have a crystal that you want to use, you can absolutely bring it out. I know some people like just having a crystal to hold kind of makes them feel more present in the moment. So you absolutely can use that to your advantage. <laughs> Hey Taylor, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. I'm located in South Carolina. In November, I'll be doing Reiki for about 18 years. There's moon water work if you bring it when the sun's up. From what I've heard, most people bring it in before the sun comes up. Um, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't done moon water in a very long time. This is not my full-time job. I wish it was. I would love for it to get to that point. You're welcome. I'm happy to answer questions. Any pointers for someone who's new to Reiki? New as in you do Reiki or in receiving Reiki? You made it, welcome. <laughs> you do not have to be watching your phone to receive as long as you consent. Um, if you want to watch me, you can watch me, the crystal, you can close your eyes, sit up, stand up, lay down, sound on, sound off, whatever you're most comfortable with. New to receiving. So if you wish to receive, all you have to do is consent. You can type it in the comments, say it out loud to yourself, think it to yourself, whatever you're most comfortable with, and then just get nice and comfy and allow the energy to flow. Your neighbor has evil on all her windows. It's to ward off negative energy. It's for protection. Tonight's session is for peace, calm, tranquility, relaxation. I hope you guys recover from COVID quickly. You do not have to be watching. You can just listen or vice versa. If you want the sound off and you want to watch. My favorite crystal changes all the time, depending on what I'm feeling at that time, but um, one that I always go to and use is clear quartz. Thank you, 247 Wellness. How are you?
Usually I get very warm when I do this, and this crystal is making me feel like very cool in my face. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels cool instead of warm usually. Hello from France. Bonjour, ça va? Heart palpitations could be a block in your heart chakra that's trying to release. Try to just relax into it and let go of what's no longer serving you. You have a crystal that you wear as a necklace. How can you find out what it is and what it works for? What does it look like? You're always high load hair sweating your mouth. You're so funny, Desiree. <laughs> yes, I'm having a good day. Thank you so much. How long have we been on? Close to 45 minutes, but we're on our first crystal after the selenite. Completely clear in its teardrop shape. It sounds like it's like a clear quartz, I would think. You had your baby, congratulations. How many likes are we at? 74,000. Best stone for protection. I like black obsidian, black tourmaline, and tiger's eye. Drink some water. Excellent. Hydrate. Recovering from C-section has been rough. Yes, we're sending you lots of light and love and healing energy. It does wine count. I won't tell. <laughs> Some of the nana juice, yes. <laughs> Crystal starter kits. Um, I got mine on Etsy from World Incense Store. 626 likes. Thank you so much. Let your fingers relax. <laughs> Thank you. This is Trolleite. T-R-O-L-L-E-I-T-E. -L -L -E. You got your sister the crystal beginner kit from Golden Sister for that she loves it. Awesome, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, 
You just ordered a bracelet for on Etsy. Awesome. I didn't wear my bracelet yet from Monk and Moon. I'm going to wear it tomorrow and see how it is. I was working today at my garage, so I didn't want to mess it up. Need some loving healing. Yes, absolutely. Your cat just meowed and consented. Sounds like it to me. I am still doing the distance email sessions. The link is in my bio. Um, right now it's taking me like two to three weeks to complete them. Yes, I'll do the combing. I'll do some pulling and plucking. I'll do the massage. What do you need to do to clear the block? Try to relax into it. I know it's tough sometimes, especially when they're a little painful. Try to take deep breaths and try to just envision whatever it is that block is just being released and you're letting it go. Your birthday is Monday. Happy birthday. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you, Beauty Tech. I'll do some plucking, yes. Thank you, Tattooed. Thank you, Breakdance. Yes, I do Reiki on myself all the time. It's getting quiet. I think everyone's starting to zone out and get nice and comfy and relaxed. <laughs> yes, it still works while someone is sleeping. Usually with in-person sessions, people tend to fall asleep. Oh, I'm so sorry for the loss of your mother. Chills are normal, yes. You're feeling the energy flow. Knitting while you watch, yes. I do Reiki for myself as I need it, but I do, I will do it daily. A good stone for grieving and emotional healing. Um, Moonstone or Apache Tears. Desiree sent me one of um, her Apache Tears and I use it all the time for um, grieving and trauma healing. And Moonstone is also really good as it helps you um, move on to like the next chapter in your life and helps you stay balanced emotionally.
Hey Valkyrie, it has been a while. How are you? Oops, sorry guys, I feel a cough coming on. <clears throat> Ooh, bicolor fluorite ring. That sounds pretty. Clear quartz is probably the crystal I use the most. Yeah, chapter five. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I think some people invested in some phone stands with these lives. <laughs> you have friends on in the background? Yes. Thank you, Angel. I do have, I have, no, it's not, I think it's Caribbean calcite. I have not Caribbean quartz. You bought a simple See, I was going to say, I know several people mentioned that they did. <laughs> I'll have to do some phone stand merch. <laughs> Okay. Let me put this one back. Too many phones to the face, yes. <laughs> so many new followers joining. Thank you so much. Make sure if you are a new follower that you tap my name and you click the bell so that you can receive notifications when I go live next. There have been iffy lately. Some people are receiving them. Some people have been missing them, but worth a shot. Um, and if you are following me, all of my TikTok lives get uploaded to my YouTube channel, usually with a few days after. So if you ever hopped on late or if you wanted to rewatch a certain live, they are always there for you. And yes, watching it when it's not live, you can still receive the healing as long as you consent. Oh, Wilmoth, I hope your day gets better. Thank you so much. My hair looks nice. Crystal pop sockets. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. Do I store my crystals in a special way? So my smaller crystals, I store in these. I have a little label maker. Thank you, Next Plateau. Um, sorry, the ring lights didn't really reflect. I got these on Amazon. It was like a two-pack for, I think, $14, and I have four of them. And then all of my larger clusters um, and pieces up there are on my shelf. Although now that I just got this new order and I might have to get another one. Thank you, Babs. Sorry, my neck feels like it needs to crack. Yes, I have seen people store them on moss. I like to keep them in the containers because I can put the whole container in the window still and open the lid for a few hours and let them charge and then close it and move them away. <laughs> so it's a lot easier than having to transport a couple hundred crystals at a time to charge. <laughs> oh, your neck too, Abra. I don't know why. I think because I'm, I'm in this chair, like this is me sitting up straight. And when I do the healing, I'm always leaning forward. So my neck is always like tilted. <laughs> Yes, use YouTube if I'm not live. So a lot of people go back and rewatch the old lives on my off live TikTok days. Yes, we're over 100,000 likes. Thank you. We're at 106. Reminder to hydrate. 1.7 likes, holy moly, that must be, I think that's the most someone sent so far, thank you. So the likes boost the algorithm, so um, when TikTok did their update, a lot of people stopped receiving notifications if they were already in the app. 
So when you tap the screen, it boosts the algorithm so that as people swipe, it should pull me up on their page faster. So if they're not getting the notification, they should see the live. You're very welcome. I have, hope you have a good night or day. <laughs> Thank you, Valkyrie. Please manifest abundance for you. You can manifest abundance for yourself, absolutely. Your finger is stuck on the like button. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you're hydrating, stretch if you need to, get nice and comfy. Which crystal is next? Again, I'm probably saying these all wrong, so forgive me. I think it's Skelite, S-C-H-E-E-L-I-T-E. -E -E. It's also known as Lapis Lace. It's um, a mix of calcite and dolonite. Helps us see the bigger picture. It's extremely calming. Creates a deeper bond with our souls as we connect to our higher selves. Nurtures and supports those with cancer especially. So if, uh, if you have any form of cancer, this is really good for, for you. Okay, got to crack my back quickly. Sorry, guys. Uh, my sister's good. She's on a trek right now, so her internet is extremely limited. We usually do um, Sunday Funday Pictionary with her, my mom, and Rosalie, but she's somewhere in the middle of a mountain somewhere or a rainforest or something <laughs> right now. Yes, my sister is at mindful.michelle. Thank you, Michael. So if you're not already following her, go follow her. We're trying to get her to a thousand followers so that she can jump in on some of our lives. The name of the crystal is Skelite, S-C-H-E-E-L-I-T-E. -E -E. Oh, they have new options. Let's see. Admin section. Oh, there are some different ones. It's showing me muted accounts. Yeah, they did update some things for mods. Hold on, I gotta scroll back. I missed something. Oh, Trisha, I'm so sorry. If you feel comfortable talking about it, you're welcome to discuss that here. It's a safe space for everyone. I know sometimes just getting things off your chest can help you feel better. So if you consent to the healing and you're not feeling anything, that doesn't mean it's not working. You might just not have a very specific area where you would feel it intentionally, but you are still receiving the flow of energy. Thank you, Tattooed. She's dying of cancer. Well, I believe in divine timing and this crystal, when I looked it up tonight, said it is extremely helpful for those who have cancer. So if she would like to consent to receive, we can certainly send her some healing energy. Oh, she lives in South Carolina. I'm near Myrtle Beach. Reminder to hydrate one last time before we jump in with the second crystal. Thank you, Angel. Sheilet. Ah, is that right? Sheilet? This looks like it would be Shkelet or Sheilet. <laughs>
Thank you, Desiree. Heard my dad's when it's water chocolate. Ooh, no, I haven't seen that. That sounds cool, though. Where did you get the Herkimer diamonds? Can you send me the name of the shop where you got them? Because I've been wanting to get some. Yes, this one's also very calming and soothing. Thank you so much. Yes, Third Eye likes this. So I usually prefer that adults consent for themselves, but if you'd like to consent on her behalf, it's based off of free will. So if she would not want to receive, it wouldn't work regardless. If she would like to receive, then she would. The diamonds at a shop in Ohio called Sterling Syrup. This one feels the most powerful to you. It's making my hands super tingly. She's to get Reiki from Anunza. She's down for it. Awesome. Um, I did videos a while ago of the two, the first two shops I had ordered from, but I will definitely do it again. Yes. Casper Curiosities. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I got to scroll back. Curiosities. Thank you, my glob. Yes, you can consent for pets or young, young children, babies. Yes, you can consent for other pets. Like I say, a lot of dogs and cats like to attend the lives and receive the healing. <laughs> this crystal, Skelet, Skelet, <laughs> according to Desiree, it is S C H E E L I T E. Oh, Brett, I hope your daughter feels better.
Mabel's been very quiet on our lives lately. Thank you, Ms. Mary. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it in like third eye right now. You too, yeah. Yeah, both crystals from tonight when I look them up, so they're pretty rare. Um, I want to say each of these were probably around 20 or $30 each. So not like crazy expensive, but more so than usual, at least based on what I have purchased in the past. Right legs tingling. This, my hands are like super tingly right now with this one. Yeah, my original shower candle tea took crystals in the Dell. <laughs> That's some good self care though. Doesn't matter which hand you hold it in. Not so much. I tend to prefer to hold them in my right hand, unless my right hand gets really tired, then I'll switch to my left. Um, with me personally, and I don't know if other um, Reiki practitioners feel this way, your right side of your body is your masculine energy, your left side is your feminine energy. So with me, the masculine energy with my hands, I always feel the energy kind of coming out, and the feminine energy, I feel it being pulled in. Um, so kind of like rotates through. So I usually hold it in my right hand so that it's, it's being sent to you. Ooh, I like the headband idea. I've seen so many people do like wire wrapping for crystals. I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and just start wire wrapping some of my crystals so I can wear them. <laughs> Been on for about an hour and a half. Actually, no, a little, a little, about an hour and 15 minutes. My wrapping is so soothing. See, I think that's something I would love, but I don't even know like what tools you need. I don't know what gauge wire. I tried looking up earlier and it was like, you know, dead soft wire, 16, 20, 24. And I was like, I don't know what any of those are. I've seen people with the crystal crowns and they are beautiful. Yes, please send it to me. Rosalie is definitely on the mend. I am hopefully right behind her. <laughs> I 
Hey, Esmeralda, how are you? 18 to 20 gauge. Yeah, the one I saw today, they were using 21 gauge square copper wire, and it was beautiful. But she had some, like, really special tool where she, like, wrapped, like, circles around it, and it was, like, perfect. Because I have some smaller pieces, like the two fire opal. I just got their two tiny for it. I'll, I'll probably have to cage them, but I have some, like, amethyst and stuff that I want to try to wire up. Yes, everyone said copper wire for sure. And I like the look of the copper better too. I have to find like something to like to wear around my neck that I can do that would go with the copper wire. If anyone on here follows Handmade by Zane, I ordered one of his um, pendants that he wire wraps and his pieces are gorgeous. Actually, do I have it here? Yes. This is one I ordered from him. So he's got all like the intricate. This is Moonstone and Labradorite, but he's got like the really pretty wrapping on it. His name, yes, he's on TikTok. Handmade by Zane. He's on TikTok and he has an Etsy shop. Valley of the Stars on Etsy. I'll have to look at that one too. You love him? Yes. Yeah, and he's, I think he's in Arizona. See, he goes and mines like all his own quartz and stuff and they're like gorgeous pieces. Thank you, Birdie. My right eye just started itching, so if anyone has something on their right eye, <laughs> I'm feeling it. That was very quick and random. Can anyone see my comments? Yes, I see them. Hi. Ooh, thank you, Stacy. I love that campfire one. <laughs> You're rubbing your right eye. That's okay. It's very quick. Is it possible to have bad reaction to certain crystals? So some people are more sensitive to crystals' energies than others. Um, I know Moldavite in particular. Some people um, can't handle the energy one very well. So yes, it is possible. Okay, let's hydrate quickly and then we'll jump in with some of the plucking, the combing, the face touching, and the massage. Oof. You just got your Moldavite. How is it? Thank you, Andrea. I have tried Blue Appetite. I use that one a lot for um, weight management and throat chakra. I did not do the plucking yet. We're going to do it shortly. Oh, I hear Mabel. <laughs> You hear her? She's kind of far away. Her two little meows. <laughs> hey Naomi, thank you. <laughs> I 
I've been telling her the last few lives. I said, your, your fans miss you. She needs to make an appearance. Yes, the cat reiki and the dog reiki were some of the first videos I did. So if you scroll all the way down to like my very first videos and then just kind of scroll up from there, it'll be a lot faster. A <laughs> Mabel moment, yes. <laughs> Do you know about Angel Opal? I don't have Angel Opal, but I have heard of it. Oh, sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. And then Mabel letting us know she hasn't eaten in 20 minutes, probably less than that. It's probably been like 10. I woke up this morning to Molly standing on top of me at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And she was just standing there staring at me like this. And she's big. She weighs like 16 pounds. And she was like, her back feet were on my bladder and her front paw, her back feet, her back paws were on my bladder. Her front paws were like in between my ribs. And I was like, can you like lay down, please? <laughs> and then she just laid down on me. And, and I felt like I was suffocating for like an hour while I was trying to sleep. And she just stared at me the whole time. And then as soon as my husband's alarm went off, she's like, all right, mom, you're sloppy seconds. I'm going to go lay with dad. And she like went and spooned him. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, cats have no sense of space. I swear she, she stands like the most uncomfortable positions on me. She like, we have a whole bed she could walk across and she walks across my pillow. Yeah, they jump off you and their paw digs in. So he was doing okay today. We're kind of like anxious waiting to find out from the doctor what everything is. But it's probably going to be at least another week or two, I think, before we get an answer. So we're just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> 5 a.m. Drive by runs across the bed, yeah. <laughs> Molly's like stealth. Like the best way I can explain Molly is she's like Eeyore. Like she's always just kind of like doop be doop be doop. But she's like the dominant cat in the house. Like she beats up our dog. She Molly runs the show. I accidentally ran over Mabel's paw on my chair up here the other day. And she like obviously she like meowed like because I ran over her paw. And Molly ran and started beating up Ziva because she thought Ziva did something to her. <laughs> okay, one more sip, then we'll do some plucking. She's mad because you don't have enough perches. I know. You say poor Mabel, but I will say this. Mabel is one of those cats that does like figure eights under your feet constantly. And there have been times where I've almost died on stairs because she's tripped me. Same with my husband. She never, she does not know how to like not be under your feet. And I was moving around in my chair and she was trying to rub up on me and I ran right over her little paw. She was fine in like three seconds, but it scared her. I know. I do feel bad, but I warn her all the time. Okay. Let's do some plucking. So with the plucking, I always say to bring something forward consciously that you are ready to heal from and let go of so that I am then able to pluck it and remove it. You might feel that slight pulling or pinching sensation with this. Try to relax into it. Try to relax your brow bone, your jaw, your shoulders, deep breaths. Envision it being released because it is no longer serving you and your highest good. Cats always give the dirtiest looks. I know. She looked back at me like, what the hell, mom? And I was like, what the hell, Mabel? <laughs> Don't be under my feet. <laughs> yes, this can help with pain. Oh, my right eye started again. Sorry. Did 
Does Reiki work better sitting up or laying down? Whatever your most comfortable position is, you could do either. Thank you, Carl. Been a rough week. I hope it gets better for you. Your first time here. Thanks for being here. We're happy to have you. Brazil, welcome. And the BAM again. Yes, you can close your eyes. Thank you, Zena. Glad your headache's gone. Thank you, Glitter. I felt stuck. <laughs> Still feel stuck. There we go. Glad 
Glad your stomach feels better. Hiccups are actually a form of a block being released, so that's a good sign. Crying is an emotional release. That's a good thing. Just let it out. Don't try to hold it in. Yes, it's okay to eat. Thank you. Thank you, Muffy. I'm gonna rest my hours for a minute and then I'll do the massages. <laughs> the scalp and the temple. As intense, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> Ugly snot cried. I've been there before. It's a good thing to let that let it all out. <laughs> You'll feel a lot better tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I hope your day gets better. I hope you have a good day tomorrow.
happens in a good way. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm 35. This tea, I think it's a black tea. I have a crap ton of honey in it <laughs> for my throat. <laughs> so it's super sweet. I can't remember which tea it is. It tastes like 100% honey to me right now. <laughs> Thank you. Ava, you're welcome. Thank you, Shannon. Yes, good antibacterial. Thank you, Ava, for the roses. Does anyone have incense lit? I just got a smell of incense. I'm all like a card keeper. <laughs> uh, I just got whiffed something. It only lasted for like 10 or 20 seconds and I had to think to myself that I lit an incense today and I didn't. <laughs> you just walked in and lit it so it might have been you. It definitely wasn't the smell of like an oil diffuser, it was definitely incense. Thank you so much. Thank you for sending back to me. I appreciate that so much. Your cat's name is Sage. I love that. Okay. Let's do... The massaging. Reminder to hydrate first. My tea's getting cold. I'm going to have to switch to my water soon. <laughs> I haven't ventured out to a lot of the incense. Like the incense I have is like vanilla. Like it's very mild because I'm pretty sensitive to smells. So I don't know what like the dragon's blood and all the other like usual like um, incense smells like I'll have to get some and try them I guess and see which ones I like and don't like I'll have to look and see if they have like a sample pack so I don't have to spend like a lot of money on like a whole thing <laughs> yes it is a friend's mug okay feeling this in my chest right now Dragon's Blood is nice and calming. I'll have to try that one. Frankincense. Sorry guys, my jaw <laughs> it keeps clicking. Welcome in. We're near the end, but it's not over. We still got like 15, 20 minutes or so left. You have a blockage there in the heart chakra. Wait, sage, yes. Thieves, I do love the smell of thieves. I didn't know they made an incense of it though. Nice shampoo and frankincense. Shocker bricks. 
I'll have to try some of those. Um, I usually end with the selenite cleanse, so that will be the last one. I don't know if there's five below around here. I'll have to look and see. Sandalwood's usually a little too earthy to me. Thank you, Jane. Ooh, we're at 149,000 likes. <laughs> you guys have been tapping like crazy. It's relaxing for me too. My arms get a little tired around like the two, three hour mark, but that's about it. Yeah, I have a lavender vanilla pillow spray that I love. It's very soothing. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you everyone for sharing the live too. <laughs> I love that your husband knows it's time for massage. <laughs> you fell asleep and now you're back. Welcome. I hope you're feeling more rested. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, if you feel like you're falling asleep, absolutely, I encourage it. Just please do not drop your phone on your face. You're very welcome, Corinne. I hope you're feeling more relaxed and you're feeling better. I'm not a medium, I do energy healing. You made it to get them, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Levine. Hey, Nicole, thank you, I am better. We're near the end, maybe 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Thank you.
I think in real life people think I'm mean because I have some serious RBF. <laughs> Yes, go over to YouTube when we're done here for sure. Rewatch some past lives, get nice and comfy. <laughs> yeah, between the RBF and the Scorpio energy, I will tend to ward a lot of people off. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Angelique. <laughs> Ooh, so many butterflies. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scorpio and Pisces, my fellow water signs. Yeah, I've been told most of my life, they're like, you need to smile more. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm like, this is just my face. Sorry, it's upsetting you. Life has been so transformational lately, especially the past two days. I hope in really good ways. <sighs> Smiling's exhausting, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now when someone tells me to smile, I go, say something funny. And it kind of puts them on the spot, and then they're like, oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, definitely sounds misogynistic. Oh, I'm super introverted. It doesn't seem like that here, but in real life I am. <laughs> in person to person. Thank you, Parker. It takes more energy to frown than to smile, but my natural face is just like, I don't know, I guess it's, it's that RBF kicks in. <laughs> yes, the INFJ in me. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we're hydrating. Yeah, it's funny. My husband is like the social butterfly and I am like the introverted homebody for sure. Like I, I need to sign, I need to make a sign. So it's like it's too people today. Cause that's like my thing. And it's not that I don't like people, but it's, I'm clairsentient. So it's very draining for me most of the time. So I prefer just kind of like relaxing and chilling by myself when I can. I need that alone time to self reflect and heal and recharge. <laughs> yes, always the introvert and extrovert. <laughs> it's two people, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's too peoply outside. <laughs> yeah, I always shield. I always do grounding work. I always cleanse, but it's still like, it's, it's hard for me. When I was younger and I had a lot more energy, it wasn't as bad. You're an extrovert, like a full automatic. I could never, like just thinking about that is, it sounds exhausting to me. <laughs> All right, let's do our selenite cleanse. I know when you get excited to stay in for the pandemic. <laughs> I was like, we have to stay home? Yes. <laughs> My full-time job was like, if you can work from home, you should work from home. 
And I was like, I will work from home 100% of the time. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> uh, I was like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> uh, Yep. <laughs> uh, I know I go in like two days a week and it's such like a bummer now because I'm so used to like being able to stay home and do some work that now when I have to interact with people I'm like ugh <laughs> which is not good. <laughs> but then I get there and it's fine but it's like just the idea of having to leave the house it sounds like exhausting to me. Yes, yeah, these I'm halfway at the moment. <laughs> Are you sure we're not related? Maybe in a past life we've run into another. Well, for me, like when I have appointments, I have to go into the office because I have like a full design center that people have to physically see like the selection. So I can't do it from home when I have meetings, but for other stuff, I can usually work from home. So right now it's kind of like half and half. So I will take whatever I can get. I'm grateful that the company I work for is very open to what our needs are. Crystals that I use for motivation would be citrine and sunstone. Yeah, so my manager is amazing and he always asks me like, you know, what days do you want to come in? What days do you want to stay home? My daughter's in school now, so it's a little easier. When she was home last year, we were doing virtual school. It was a little harder. Uh, yes, I work as a design specialist for a new construction builder. So people, when they do new construction, they pick their floor plan with the agent, and then they come meet with me, and I help them pick out all the selections for the interior. I did not hear about the national strike. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I do the full time for that. And then I have my family's engraving business, so like all the signs you see behind me, they're all laser engraved. So we have our Etsy and we do wholesale for a lot of local shops in Myrtle Beach. Thank you. Um, our Etsy is Shore Thing Laser Engraving, but Shore is spelled like a beach shore. It's in the link in my bio if you scroll down to the bottom. few people last week ordered the distance board like I have that I use for my sessions. Yep. 
We um, do laser engraved wood home decor. Going to the beach in a week, awesome, yes. How do I find time for you guys? I try to come on live when I can. If I could do this every day full time, I absolutely would. But not quite there yet. Thank you. Hey, Christmas is coming. If you guys order anything from our shop, I think the code, I have it on the link. It's I think it's TikTok21. You get a discount for being one of my TikTok family. I don't get sleepy, but it relaxes me like it does for you. Thank you, Glitter. Gifts for employees, yes. We get, we are crazy busy for the holidays, so if you do order, please make sure you order in advance. We only ship in the US right now, yes, to all 50 states. If you do order any of the healing boards or the crystal grids, um, just put a note to seller that you ordered from TikTok and I will do some energy cleansing for the board before I ship it to you. But you gotta put a note in the note to seller because if I'm not the one engraving, if it's my husband or my mother-in-law and they see it, they'll put it aside for me before they ship it. And we always do free shipping. If you guys want, like, I can't do healing while I'm doing it, but while I, like, pack orders and stuff for my shop, I could always hop on live and just chat. Is it a lot having an Etsy shop? I so and thought about starting one. It took us a while to get it up and really off the ground. Um, we were fortunate where Etsy was doing some kind of, like, test program, and they asked us to be like part of the beta test and we had like our own Etsy coach for like eight weeks and they gave us like they emailed us once a week and gave us tips on our own account how to boost us in their with sales and stuff like that so yeah I can go live while I pack orders I didn't think that'd be anything people would want to see but I sure can <laughs> We can show you our cool machines and show some of the engravings as they're going. Yeah, I can do some behind the scenes with that, absolutely. Thank you, Brianna. If you click the link in my bio, you scroll down to the bottom where it shows the Etsy, it will bring you right to our page. Make sure you're hydrating. I'll 
I'll do the rain stick for the last couple of minutes too. Clear quartz would be really good for depression. Um, clear quartz is a master healer, so it helps to balance and align all your chakras. And citrine is really good for depression. It's a very optimistic, uplifting crystal that encourages happiness and confidence. Thank you. I'm glad you feel peace. I want this to be a safe space for everyone. Thank you, Allison. Make sure if you're not following, you click my name and tap to follow, and then click my name again and click the bell so you can receive all notifications moving forward. If you're on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube, Nicole Reiki Healing. I upload all of my lives there, so if you hopped on late or if you ever missed one, you can always go back and rewatch. If you want a distance session with me on one-on-one, -on -one, the link is in my bio. We can do 30 or 60 minutes. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you. Yes, my backup account is Nicole Reiki Healing 2.0. So last week we ran into a ban on the live. So we're trying to get that backup account to a thousand followers. But if anything ever happens on here again in the future, we have a backup account to go on to the live with. So make sure you go follow Nicole Reiki Healing 2.0 as well. Yeah, I think last time I checked it was in the 800s, so we're, we're close. Yeah, the little likes that you see over here, if you tap the screen above where the comments are, it will pull up the little emojis in the corner. <laughs> Right now we're at 173,000 likes. So thank you so much to everyone who helped boost us and got more people on the live who may have missed out on notifications. Thank you for sharing the live for all the new followers. Thank you so much for all the gifts. Anyone who sent any kind of tip or donation through my Venmo Cash App or PayPal, thank you so much. Thank you to the mods for keeping this a safe space, positive, peaceful place for all of us. My lives are still Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Yeah. It's 
I'm going to try tomorrow because I couldn't go on Thursday and last night was kind of short. Um, but it depends on how Rosalie is. She has school the following day. It depends if my throat is still improving. If it gets worse because I am crazy and didn't get my medicine yet, <laughs> I probably won't hop on. Alright everyone, I hope everyone's nice and relaxed, calm, tranquil, peaceful, dozing off, some of you probably. <laughs> I hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. In case I don't hop on tomorrow night, I will see you all again on Thursday. Um, if I can during the week while I'm working and packing some orders, I'll try to hop on live so you guys can see a little bit of behind the scenes on that too. I am Eastern Standard Time, so my lives usually start Thursday, Friday, or Saturday nights between 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. I'm glad my throat cooperated tonight and I was able to talk the whole time. <laughs> I hope everyone's feeling good. I love you all. I hope you have a great night or day wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.